the following chemical energetics question is related to uh, uh, to the experimental calculating the energy change and it's uh, the experimental energy change. The question states that 50 cm cube of 2.5 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. Let's underline that. So 50 cm cube of 2.5 mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid is being placed in a polystyrene cup of negligible heat capacity and its temperature was recorded. And then 50 cm cube of 2.5 mole per dm cube NaOH. So 50 cm cube of 2.5 mole per dm cube NaOH uh, at the same time uh, uh, was quickly added with stirring. So he's adding uh, hydrochloric acid and he's mixing NaOH into that hydrochloric acid. And he's saying that the temperature rose by 17 degrees centigrade. So we have the change in temperature. Delta T is also known. And uh, the resulting solution may be considered to have a specific heat capacity of 4.2 joules per gram per Kelvin. So we also have the specific heat capacity. And he's asking what is the approximate value for the molar enthalpy change of neutralization of hydrochloric acid and sodium, sodium hydroxide from this experiment. So, so he's, uh, he's asking for the molar enthalpy change of neutralization. So, so we're going to start off with the first thing, which is that uh, we, we, we're now going to figure out uh, what is the energy change in this reaction. Uh, the formula is Q is equal to M into specific heat capacity into delta T, which is change in temperature. So, so the mass of the solution is going to be 100 grams because uh, the reason why it's going to be 100 grams is that you're using 50 cm cube of hydrochloric acid and you're using 50 cm cube of NaOH. So the combined resulting solution is going to be 100 cm cube. If you, if you add 50 cm cube to 50 cm cube, that's a total of 100 cm cube. Now a solution is mostly water and it, water has an approximate density of one, which means that if you have 100 cm cube of a, of a solution, the mass is approximately going to be 100 grams. So, so the solution has a mass of 100 grams approximately and the specific heat capacity is given as 4.2 plus the change in temperature is given as 17. And remember, since the temperature is rising, the temperature rose by 17 degrees centigrade, which means it's an exothermic reaction. So don't forget to put a negative sign. So this is your enthalpy change. Uh, uh, this is your energy change for this particular reaction. But also remember that this energy change is is uh, not for one mole. It's actually uh, uh, let me write down the reaction. What's happening is NaOH is reacting with HCl, and it is producing NaCl and H2O. So the amount of NaOH that's actually being used in this reaction is 50 cm cube of 2.5 mole per dm cube. Similarly, the amount of HCl that's being used is also 50 cm cube into 2.5 mole per dm cube. So I can I can use the formula, which is uh, that moles is equal to concentration multiplied by volume. So the concentration given is 2.5 and the volume given is uh, 50 cm cube, but that should be divided by 1000. Now, NaOH is also going to have exactly the same amount of moles because it has the same volume and the same concentration. So they both have exactly the same moles. So this energy change over here, which we calculated, it's not for one mole. It's actually for uh, 2.5 times 50 divided by 1000 to convert 50 cm cube into dm cube. That's basically equal to 0 0.05 uh, dm cube. So this is the amount of moles. So the energy change is for these many moles. It's uh, the energy change is minus 100 into 4.2 into 17. So this is the energy that's released MC delta T. And these are your moles. Now the question is asking for the molar enthalpy change. Remember the molar enthalpy change is for one mole. So I'm now going to use ratios and find out what's the energy change if one mole of HCl and NaOH were used. So on the other side, that's going to be X and I'm going to try and solve for X now. So X would come out to be equal to, it's going to be minus 100 multiplied by 4.2 multiplied by 17 and divided by 2.5 times 0 0.05. So this would be your, this would be your molar enthalpy change. And I'm going to now uh, try and figure out which one is the correct option. The correct option, uh, is going to be it's going to be option c option c exactly matches with 
uh, the energy change that we are get, getting for one mole. So remember, the first thing we did was we calculated the energy change using MC delta T. And it came out, we had 100 grams of solution. The solution had a specific heat capacity of 4.2 and the energy change was 17. So we found out the energy change. And the next thing we did was we found out that this energy change was for how many moles? This energy change was when you had 2.5 into 50 divided by 1000 moles of HCl and of NaOH. So it was, so 2.5 into 0 0.05 moles of NaOH and HCl produced this energy change. So we then figured out what would be the energy change when one mole of HCl or NaOH was used, were used. So we found out X, which came out to be equal to option C. So option C is your correct option for this question.